Hi guys, I want to run through with you a DHCP, a dynamic host configuration protocol exercise with you this evening. So let's let's get started. Um, as you can see on my screen here, I've got basically a D DNS server over here. I want to configure this router, which is router two, to be a DHCP server. So in other words, to give out IP information to my hosts and these hosts reside down here in this network here and this network here so this network is 192.168.10.0 and this network is 192.168.30.0 but you'll notice there's no actually dhcp server on each of these networks the dhcp is going to be in a central position so how do we go about configuring this DHCP server. So over on this side, we've got a basically exercise and I can see at the moment, I've got a score of zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the instructions here on this side to complete this network. So the first step is configure the excluded IPv4 addresses. So in order to make this guy, this router, a DHCP server, we've gotta exclude some addresses that we're not going to have available in this pool as we add more computers in this network and in this network. So let's go straight into OR2 first of all. And let's pop this guy here so we can see it. And let's open our CLI and let's make this guy nice and big so we can see some text. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go enable COMT and I'm gonna say configure OR2 to exclude the first 10 addresses. So in this case, we need to find out, well, where is, um, first of all, from the first 10 addresses from the OR1 and OR3 LANs. So this is the OR1 LAN and this is the OR3 LAN. So I've got to exclude the first 10 addresses from this network here. What's this network here? This network is the 192.168.10 network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say IP DHCP exclude address. I'm gonna say 192.168.10.1 one and then what's the end address? So I'm gonna say 192.168.10.10. And once I press enter, we should see hopefully down the bottom right hand corner here, guys, we should see our score increase. And that means we're on the right track. So you can see it's just gone from zero to five out of 100. The next thing is it says, I want you to exclude the first 10 addresses on this network. So I'm gonna hit the up arrow, and I'm gonna say, instead of from 10, I'm gonna say from 30. Dot one, two, thirty dot ten. And then you can see my score clocking up 10 out of 100. So we're on the right tracks there. So the next part of this exercise is step two, create a DHCP pool on R2 for R1's LAN. And we'll notice here that it's case sensitive when we create these pool names, so we'll be careful. And it asks us to configure the pool for the network address, the default gateway, and the IP address of the DNS server. So I'm gonna to need to do that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go IP DHCP pool, and I'm gonna call this R1 dash LAN, noticing the case sensitivity. And I'm gonna say network, I'm gonna say 192.168.10.0. And with a subnet mask, so this is important. So in this case, it's a slash 24, but again, that may not be the case in some networks. So just be very careful of that. Also, I'm gonna say default router, and here I can check what is the default router in this particular network. Now, a couple of different ways to do this. I could simply just hover over this guy, and I can see it's the gigabit ethernet zero zero, which is this guy here is, and if I hover over it again, it's 192.168.10.1 slash 24. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say 192.168.10.1. And then finally, the DNS server. So where's the DNS server? So the DNS server is right here, and I can see this has got an address of 192.168.20.254. So let's configure that in. So let's go back here to our friend, and let's say DNS, and I'm gonna say 192.168.20.254. Once I do that, um, I've now configured the pool to or one lab. I've configured a network address, and I've configured a default gateway and the IP address of the DNS server. I can now move on to step three, create a DHCP pool on OR2 
for router trees land. So now I'm going to configure, I'm going to stay on R2, but now I need to configure up the pool on this network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go exit, and I'm going to say very similar commands here, DHCP pool, and I'm using the tab key to help me finish off this. I'm going to say R3 dash LAN, and let's look at it if it's the same kind of instructions as it was previously for R1's LAN. Yep, it's configured the network address, default gateway, and IP address of the DNS server. So very, very similar commands. I'm going to go network 192.168.30.0, and with a subnet mask again, a slash 24, and then I'm going to say um, default gateway, um, or default router is the, the actual correct syntax for that. And again, I can check what's PC2's default gateway. Now again, there's no IP set here, so I have to double check on this. And I can see that, that gigabit 00, zero has got 30.1. Okay, that's the default gateway. So 192.168.30.1. And DNS is going to be our friend 192.168.20.254. Once we've configured that, I should see my score ticking up nicely, which is at 50 out of 100 now. The next part of the exercise, it says, hey, well, at this point in time, these guys will not be able to reach this DHCP server on the router. And we can try this out if we go to simulation. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this down out of the way for a moment. And if I try and go in here, and if I try and make this guy get an address, what we'll see guys is that, unfortunately, here's the discover DHCP message. If I try and fast forward this guy, what's gonna happen at the router is, it's gonna block it at the moment. And the reason it's gonna block it is, it's gonna say, hey, I don't know where this DHCP server is. It's not on this network. And remember, these DHCP Dora messages, discover messages, are broadcasts. And one of the rules of a router is it doesn't forward broadcasts by default. It actually drops these messages. So what am I going to do? I'm going to need to configure an IP helper address to basically say, hey, if you receive any discover messages, forward them over to our DHCP server. So what I'm going to need to do, guys, is I'm going to need to add some configuration on this interface on this gigabit zero zero interface. And you'll notice, guys, we've got to be very careful here because at the moment, it looks like it's gigabit zero one, but in actual fact, if I just hover in over this, you'll see gigabit zero one isn't connected. There's nothing set. So we've got to make sure we go under the correct interface here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up this router one. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go CLI. And I'm going to, once this comes up, I'm going to go enable, comp T, I'm going to go, and again, I can bring up my interface here, guys, if I want to see my score ticking up, just to check as I go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say interface gigabit zero slash zero, and I'm going to say IP address, sorry, I'm not going to say IP address, the IP address is already on it. I'm going to say IP helper address, and then I'm going to say it's going to be this network here, so this interface on this network which is the one, sorry, it's going to be, so if I'm looking at serial 000, it's going to be the interface opposite there that's going to be coming in here, which is going to be serial 0.